In this Naruto Storm Connections online ranked fight, we're doing a Minato play-by-play -play breakdown of how I use Minato 1 versus 3 online, solo Minato gameplay. We start off with the pill cancel, do some movement, try to bait him to move, he moved, and now we are blocking the Rasengan. We have to really use our block very carefully, and here we're trying to punish, but he cancelled his almighty push. But look at how much it cost him. Cost him half a health bar. We instantly sub the Sarda. Chidori and here we're doing dashes to try to tempo change and waste a sub we were able to do it but here Sasuke is getting priority it is a leggy fight so this is not a hundred percent this is maybe like a seven out of ten connection which is not very good not very skill based but it doesn't matter because we're trying we're playing a ranked match the person we're playing and the connection is out of our hands so we have to try our best to play I didn't leave any game ever for any reason in this series from 0 BP to 10,000 BP dash clashes you want to try to trigger those almost as much as possible right because you can't just keep dash clashing that's an instant guard break kind of just showing you and proving to you that the um it is a laggy fight um your guard will break uh easier in a laggy fight when you're down, use that time to think. Look how I perfectly rolled and I teched that Chidori and I got out of there without any kind of consequence. So you really want to try to play in a way where you can bait out those supports, guys. You want to bait out the supports. And right here, the charge up holding down the dash is great. And then he's an aggressive player. He's a skilled player, but we baited him into a counter. You're going to want to try to counter as much as possible. I know people don't like the counter, but all bets are off when you're playing solo. You have to use everything in your toolkit and you can't be ashamed of it. You can't uh, hold back because these people, the one thing I noticed is people really respected uh, this run that I did, I got more claps than ever before. People were clapping. People were amazed. People loved doing this. It gave them so much joy to do this. Some probably mixed feelings, but no one held back their punches. So you can't either. All right. You, the, you have to get them into a combo opportunity. And ha here you can see a really crazy combo. I'm not going to break down the combo and what I did, but you want to try to get as much combo as possible. That substitution bar is coming back. You can see it's almost back. The grab freezes the substitution bar. I had mentioned this maybe 10 months ago or before the game came out a year ago or something that the some of the best tech in the game is the animations whether it's a rasengan or a grab or an ultimate jitsu because it pauses the substitution timer so we're using sub that would never have happened in like a maybe a 9 out of 10 connection right so like this could even be a 6 out of 10 or 6.5 out of 10 what do i mean by that is you only have so much reaction time so many frames and there you're getting those dash clashes like i said you want to try to do that at certain times it's very difficult to explain what i'm doing and why i'm doing it i am guarding and I'm counter mashing there. I don't do it every time. That's the mistake a lot of people make. They just counter mash every time. I did do it two times back to back, but I don't think I'm going to do it every single time. I know I haven't and I won't. But as you can see there, that Sasuke's kick in this situation online is beating me almost every time. I have to adapt. He double jumps over my grab. He's waiting for the grab and he baited me out. And right here, it looks like, uh, you know, he wasn't able to cancel fast enough, so, uh, you know, I'm not sure what's going on there. He's being a little slow. The Chidori got me on landing frames. Be careful of those kind of things. I don't think I could escape that. That's just a leggy fight thing going on. But like I said, you have to take some damage. That's an example of it in certain situations. Um, it's not the support necessarily. It's the support in the main and how they function in in leg right so it's just you have to identify that stay calm stay collected it is annoying but there you really want to have a character that has at least one tag because i literally use that tag to cancel an almighty push make him waste chakra converted it into a grab forcing him into one substitution i just sub and mash here it isn't fine to use that as a technique uh some of the time but you it's a actually a very advanced technique for most characters not characters like maybe pts rock Lee so much right but most normal characters like a minato or something this is an advanced um, tactic that you can use that seems very simple a lot of these things are simple fundamentals 
but it's how you use it, right? It's not just what you're using when, it's how you're using it. So here we use this is also my tech, I'm exploding Kunai bag tech. I use it all the time. If you go back and watch my videos, I'm always using it. It's a delayed tech release, uh, or sorry, grab release, right? And there you wanna be on the ground. It, it stuns them, the bag stun them if you do it at a delayed amount. So you really wanna guard on the ground. If you guard while in the air see how i keep even though it's red the shield is red it's almost going to break i'm guarding on the ground as much as possible because you're less likely to have that guard break so even though it's nice to jump around look at that now that's like four times it didn't break and then finally it broke but then i reset it and look at that perfect guard management reset absorbing the hits and the dash pressure on the ground and then resetting it just being above the ground if you're too high like in the air they will get you on landing frames but i was just high enough that and then here kunai to kunai to okay that's all just leg but whatever you, you have to still try right you can't just guard you have to have some kind of offense so here i tried the Rasengan, and then it didn't really quite work it didn't even really catch the sarada at all that much and there Maybe not the greatest thing. I'm going to have to eat that. But luckily, that look at the damage on the Shinra Tensei. It's not that big. It's a low damage um, jitsu. So if you're going to get hit, try to get hit with something that's maybe low damage, right? Because um, you, you do have to take some hits and you have to pick and choose your poison. Pick the lesser of the evils out there. Um, take the less damage. Don't take the more damage, right? So some, sometimes it's out of your control. Like I could have... Like dodged and went back but it looks like because of the connection this is kind of all i can do so i, I can do a lot more advanced things but you have to work with the options that the online connection gives you because that's what it is and here there we got a little bit of guard pressure and here we're just willing to sub mash these jitsus and we have advantageous position with one sub and then that was supposed to probably be a hollow step maybe um but it probably just didn't give it to me, right? Because of the inputs. That's fine. I do a lot of hollow stepping, but only occasionally because it can be risky. You only really want to hollow step when you have a good connection, like an 8 out of 10 or 9 out of 10. If, if it's like a 7, 6, 5, 4 or lower, you, you're just kind of going to miss it. On you know, The game will force you to miss it. So you just want to get in these situations where you have combo opportunities. The subs are coming back, right? Let's see what they do here. They're eventually going to sub usually, even though they've taken damage, they don't want to just keep getting hit. Um, so let's see here. Minotaur is a low defense stat, right? He, had, he has a low defense number. I think he's like a two or something like that um, out of six or seven. I can't remember. I think it's like a six or seven. Hidan and Gara are the highest. So we have to be very careful here. Counter? Perfect counter. Uh, luckily, we have enough. Um, you see, the interesting thing is, as the leg and as the connection become, you know, as there's more leg or the connection becomes less and less stable, we're talking about like a 6 out of 10 or 5 out of 10, you actually can't even counter properly. Like, even though you can do it like 100% of the time offline, you won't be able to get it, uh, the timing in the game. So you have to be careful. Like, so that, you have to, like, is that an option or is that not an option, right? Online, you have to be careful. A lot of more, a lot more people are becoming aware of their options and the legginess of the game and how that affects them. But just like that, we got them back into the combos. You really want to get combo damage. This, you know, winning these, these types of fights are a lot about combo roots and combo damage and pressure and forcing them like look at that damage that's insane damage going back into the grab a little bit of comboing a little bit of grab extending that as you can see though look at the grab does almost no damage but we're doing it so we can stall and pause that timer i see there the time it's starting to come back now the substitution bar and right that would have 100 percent worked in a better connection game and now i'm getting punished for it and maybe it was a leg spike maybe it was just the connection change from like a seven out of 10 to a five out of 10 or 5.5. And now I all of a sudden can't do that at that range. It, you gotta be careful. So now I can see that the connection is a little bit worse for me. I use the Rasengan just to get out and to bait them and to see if I can get back, but this doesn't look very good for me. I have to kind of change how I'm doing things, play a little bit more simply, a little bit more uh, less comp complex. I have less options on the table. My guard broke and I, I was able to dodge backflip out of there. So that is perfect. 
the guard broke, but they didn't capitalize on it. On it. I dodged this normal Mersengan, so it's like he wasted his support. Absolutely fantastic, and we're 1v1ing. We're creating a 1v1 by making them waste their supports and giving them false sense of security here and that guard is really red and there's broke first and can we capitalize and we win the game that's how we do it